Hi guys, welcome to Office Bloke's React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Together we are loving this rainy Monday that we've got. Uh, stunning weather. Studio, yeah. Stunning. Unbelievable. Looks like it's no, night time It's a proper autumnal day today. It yeah. is. Leaves flying everywhere. Yeah. Soppy wet through. Dark. Dark. There Grim. You go. There you go. Nothing the British like doing more than moaning about the weather. Part so. nice, Greg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, having a great time. <laughs> Uh, so Matthew Perry died last he night. He did. Or, oh, I know. Yeah, or it was announced yesterday. Yeah. Sorry, I don't yeah, know right. what time. It's over the week at some stage, I think, wasn't it? But yeah, very sad. Yeah. Did you watch Friends? Not really. Yeah, I watched I've, it. I've seen all of them. Been through and watched repeats, and Fun yeah, it's just always been on in the mm. house. Funnily enough, for the first time in ages on Saturday night, I just put Friends on on Netflix, yeah. oh, right, and okay. I watched a few episodes, and then the next day it was mm. the news that he died. Yeah, well. very sad coincidence. Yeah, so it's, it's a real shame, isn't it? I know he had his troubles. I think there was addiction issues. Yeah, and he had a few like issues that. in the past. I think with alcohol and I don't know if it's drugs as well. Wasn't much sure, but he's definitely had issues in the past. I think it might have be been prescription painkillers, prescription pain prescription opioid, yeah, opioid science type thing. I saw a yeah uh, picture like a cartoon that someone had done um, <clears throat> of him with his arm round the, the actor that played Gunther. You know, and they're both yeah, walking yeah. towards the pearly gates because he died as we well. Did. Oh, right. A Correct. while back, yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's a sad one. So. Uh, yeah. Thought we'd cue something up as a bit of a tribute and uh, watch Mojo. I've got a new video that's literally just come out. Brilliant. Re remembering Matthew Perry, top 10 funniest Chandler moments on Friends. Let's do it. <laughs> Whoopa! Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious Chandler moments. I'm not great at the advice. Can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? Number 10, the Taylor incident. You're Taylor is a very bad man. When Chandler needs some clothing alterations taken care of, he naturally asks the group for advice. Joey has a tailor that he's been seeing for years, so Chandler decides to pay him a visit. He's traumatized upon his return, however, <laughs> since the tailor has taken advantage of him, well, prison style. Joey's tailor... <laughs> ...took advantage of me. Joey thinks the whole thing is totally normal, asserting that's just how they measure pants. As Ross sides with Chandler, though, Joey makes a startling revelation. Ross, will you tell him? Isn't that how Taylor measures pants? Yes, yes, it is. In prison? <laughs> Chandler's shock is par for the course, and sets the scene early in the show for more hilariously unfortunate incidents that will happen to him. Oh my god. <laughs> Number 9, the cheesecake. You have got to try this cheesecake. There are some natural pairings on this show. From Joey and Chandler, to Monica and Rachel, to Ross and Marcel. But one duo that doesn't get a lot of screen time together is Chandler and Rachel. I'm full, and yet I know if I stop eating this, I'll regret it. This season 7 episode has us wishing desperately that they had been paired up more often. Because the aftermath of them eating a series of stolen cheesecakes is just too good. Yeah, the cheesecake came. They delivered it to the wrong address again. <laughs> so just bring it back downstairs, what's the problem? I can't seem to say goodbye. It shows both of their most childish and ridiculous sides, with the two battling until the bitter end over who will get more cake for themselves. Oh, yay, look, there's a piece that doesn't have floor on it. <laughs> Stick to your side. Number eight, the shark porn. Oh, who am I kidding? It's not pausing. What's not working? What's not working? Okay, again, Dave. <laughs> They missed a, I know they've only got to show short clips because of yeah, copyright issues. Shame. The best bit was literally coming up where Joey walks up and just looks at him and then gets a fork out of his. <laughs> yeah, just joins in. Yeah, what they? are we working with? <laughs> yeah. I think, I genuinely think, yeah. like, I don't think Friends is the best or mm. the funniest that was ever made, personally, <laughs> but I think it's probably the most timeless. I think it'll live yeah. on for I'd sort of decades. Yeah, and I've decades. watched the odd, the odd episode here and there, but I was never really into it. It was uh, more like if it was on with Gain, I was watching it, sort of yeah. thing, and then one of them type yeah, things. Yeah, I was like, so I was, again, the characters from the start, they just sort of develop over the years. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. what a lot of it was, how, how, why it was so popular. The it's, characters are just great. It's cup of tea watching. Mm. It's like, it's, yeah, com it's comforting, yeah. it's warm. Yeah. But Some I'd, episodes are really, really, really funny, though. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely love Friends, um, but I just think, you know, there's comedy sitcoms that are definitely funnier mm. there's some that are edgier yeah. but I just think Friends is the one that will probably stand yeah. the test of time it was pretty time consistent over the years over like the 15-20 years it mm. was on it was pretty consistent there was the odd series that weren't as good as others and the odd episode but I mean it was pretty consistent like say you could put it on at home you know doing your cooking or whatever and it's on yeah. the background you know why not what doesn't happen to you what <laughs> <laughs> cooking doing home while friends. cooking while I'm watching Friends at home you got an apron on yeah He's got, he's got one of them it's just like he's got one of them it's like a naked man's body with a thong honey. I hey. think it's a naked woman's body I don't think it's a... 
Uh, Pay per view porn. The period where Chandler is working halfway across the country in Tulsa, Oklahoma, is a tough one for his relationship with Monica. When Monica decides to pay him a surprise visit, though, things get even worse. She walks in on Chandler having some personal time, and when he panics to change the channel, he ends up landing on a shark documentary. Well, the weird part is, he was getting off to a shark attack show. <laughs> no. Yes, Chandler watches shark porn. He thinks he's in the clear, but Monica knows what her husband was doing, and therefore assumes that he was pleasuring himself to the sharks on screen. Like every great sitcom joke, this misunderstanding makes for incredible TV. Let me be a part of this. Let me be a part of this. <laughs> I saw what you were doing in Tulsa. Angry sharks turn you on. <laughs> no, they don't. Number seven, Chandler can't catch things. Oh, oh it's so hard. <laughs> Some of the best Friends episodes involve the characters sitting around doing essentially nothing together. And this one is no exception. Joey and Ross have been absentmindedly throwing a ball back and forth for a while before they realize that hours have passed without them dropping it. Monica, whatever you do, do not drop that ball. Yeah, we haven't dropped it in... Two hours, 27 minutes. Mm. When Monica gets involved, the casual game is unsurprisingly escalated to a full-blown competition. But it's no surprise to anyone that Chandler is the weak link. Four hours? You guys have been doing this for four hours? That's right, baby. All right, let me in. No, 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 don't do it, don't! <laughs> what? He's a dropper. The key moment comes at the very end of the episode, when viewers are treated to a compilation of Chandler dropping things. Yeah, I'm anything but a dropper. Ross! Number six, when he takes a bath. Hello? Yes, we're all in here and we'd love for you to join us. Chandler shows time and time again throughout the show that he isn't exactly secure in his masculinity. All right, this isn't so bad. I like the flowery smell. Which is okay because I've got my boat. So it fits his character perfectly that he would be reluctant to get into the habit of taking baths. Fans will remember that he willingly took a romantic soap with Monica in season 5 when they first started dating. But it takes until season 8 for him to want to bathe solo. When you get out, maybe I can give you a facial. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. This funny plotline ends with a poignant moment, when as the friends are gathered around Chandler in the tub, Ross and Rachel reveal the sex of their baby. Of course, it's Chandler and his boat that ultimately steal the show. We're having a girl. <gasps> oh, wow! Later. Number five, flashback Chandler. <laughs> Have you ever seen the, <clears throat> the clips of Ross without the laugh track? It's like Ross Geller is a psychopath no. videos. No, not see, not no. Without the laugh track, a few of the things he does and says, you just yeah. go, oh, <laughs> he's a psycho. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Savage. Hi, I'm, I'm Ross's little sister. Okay. Flashbacks are used sparingly but effectively on Friends, giving viewers a glimpse into the past and revealing previously unknown information about our favorite characters. In a fan favorite episode, the six friends reminisce about their worst Thanksgivings, and we get to see Chandler in all his college glory, flock of seagulls haircut and all. Oh no, it's cool, you can stay here, my parents won't mind. No, it's not that, I just don't want to be stuck here all night with your fat sister. We also get to see the disastrous <laughs> beginnings of Monica and Chandler's relationship, with Monica wanting to get revenge on Chandler after he called her fat, and accidentally cutting his toe off in the process. Number four, The Blackout. Great, this is just... In the show's first season, fans were still getting to know the characters. And this iconic episode cemented just how hilarious Chandler can be. When New York experiences a citywide blackout, Chandler gets stuck in an ATM vestibule with Jill Goodacre, a real-life Victoria's Secret model. Would you like to call somebody? Yeah. About 300 guys I went to high school with. <laughs> he panics given the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and tries calling Joey for advice, resulting in a hilarious exchange over the phone. What's up, man? A trip <laughs> in an ATM vestibule with Jill. 
Oh my God. He's trapped in an ATM vestibule with Jill Goodacre. <laughs> Sadly, it wasn't meant to be between Chandler and Jill. But at this point, we knew that Chandler's awkward sense of humor was perfection. You know, on second thought, gum would be perfection. <laughs> gum would be perfection? Number three, advertising brainstorming. Cheese. It's milk that you chew. Chandler's job is a constant running joke on the show, due to the fact that none of his friends seem to know exactly what it is that he does. When he decides that he needs to follow his passions and do something that really matters to him, he attempts to enter the advertising industry. A grape, because who can get a watermelon in your mouth? While we know Chandler can come up with a witty one-liner, his marketing skills leave something to be desired. The phone, bringing you closer to people who have phones. Throughout the episode, he tries out advertising slogans while practicing to impress a new employer. And each one is worse than the last. Bagels and donuts. Round food for every mood. <laughs> Monica warned me you might do that. Number two, all Janice. <laughs> oh. My. God! Did you know that Janice appears at least once in every single season of Friends? Every time she does, it means hilarity will ensue, due to Chandler's wide range of reactions to her. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Some of our favorite moments are when he set up on a blind date with her, <laughs> when he falls in love oh, with her oh, online. Oh, 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 Zed's gone. <laughs> what was it? Which one was it? Mike's Zed's gone. Okay. Ah, yeah, she did have every sort of like series, but she was a really like overpowering type of. He was with her here and there. He was a girlfriend mm. a couple of times, and he was wasn't with her, and she just seems to pop up. But absolutely, she's really funny. Yeah. Every time he needs her, yeah, you know, like his self esteem is low. She just comes along, yeah, right. pounces, and then he regrets it the next yeah. day. Oh, <laughs> every time, yeah, every time. Thankfully, she doesn't have that voice in real life, does she? I've not, I've not seen her speaking in real life ever. I think she's. I don't think anyone's got that voice. Right. I was going to say, but again, great character. Yeah. One that isn't overused either in the series, just pops up here and there when you're not expecting it. And, yeah. You know. I, I think they did well to not overdo certain people. Because if she yeah. was in it all the time, I think people would have gone off her. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, the, the other ones like Gunther, you know, in the in the cafe as well. He was just in here yeah. and there, wasn't he? But, you know, his one line is here and there. It was absolutely brilliant. Do you yeah. know there's a cafe in Manchester that's uh, set up exactly the same as Central Perk? Is it? Really? Mm. Oh, okay. Do you know what it's called? Central Perk. Friends. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Been very creative there, haven't yeah. they? <laughs> of course, when he has to buy a plane ticket to Yemen just to get out of dating her again. Well, then I guess I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> Even in the show's final episodes... Doesn't he give his address as one Yemen street? This relationship manages to get big laughs, as Monica and Chandler have to devise a plan to ensure that they don't end up living beside Janice in their new home. I want you. I need you. I must have you, Janice Littman Goralnik Nay Hosenstein. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Phoebe versus Chandler. Come here. I'm very happy we're gonna have all the sex. In what's easily one of the best friends episodes, everyone in the group finally finds out about Monica and Chandler's romantic relationship. Ah! Chandler, Monica! Before this happens, though, a series of events leads to Phoebe seducing Chandler in an effort to call his bluff and get him to admit that he's actually dating Monica. Oh, hello, Mr. Bicep. Their exchange is almost painfully funny, with neither willing to back down first and the situation escalating further and further. The end result is not only funny, but touching too, with Chandler finally exclaiming that he loves Monica. Okay, 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 you, you win. I can't have sex with you. And why not? Because I'm in love with Monica. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other re Nice. Very mm. good. It's nostalgic, that, because I've seen all the episodes so many times. I see how young he looks in there, though, as well, right? Yeah, very, very young awesome. looking. It's a shame that they can't show more, because it gives you a bit more context, mm. doesn't yeah, it, yeah. around you know, yeah. what's happening sort mm. of thing. That's but just a few key moments for people who've already watched yeah, it, yeah, I guess, yeah. where you, yeah, you yeah. sort of get mm. it. You can sort of fill in the blanks if you've seen it, I suppose, can't mm. you? But, you know. I think Phoebe's one of the best characters in it. Yeah. Really Absolutely. do. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else has kind of got their flaws, and... 
has good series, bad series, and kind of comes yeah. in and out a bit. But Phoebe's consistent, yeah, consistent, just yeah, funny the whole time, mm. always nice, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's great. I love it. It's a great series. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers.